Hey everyone, first of all, a huge thank you to all of you. We officially reached 250 likes on yesterday's video. That support honestly means a lot. So today we're taking things up one notch. So this is part two of my Samsung Good Lock series, where I show you some of the best customization features that can completely change how your Galaxy phone looks and feel. So let's set a new challenge. Let's hit 300 likes on this video. The more you like, share and comment, the more YouTube pushes this video out. And who knows, if this one goes crazy, I'll bring part three. Now let's jump into my top seven good luck features you need to try right now. So feature number one is where you can change your quick panel theme. So theme park lets you completely redesign your Samsung Galaxy quick panel. So if you like designs like this, this, and this, so instead of the default Samsung look like this, you can customize the colors, transparency icons, and even match the panel perfectly with your wallpaper. So this makes your phone feel truly personal and premium every time you swipe down. So let me show you how you can do this with GoodLock. So first you wanna go ahead and open up GoodLock app. Now in the GoodLock app, you wanna go ahead and tap on Theme Park. Now next, tap on Quick Panel. And here, these are already the themes which I've created. So I've created one green, pink, there's a bit of black and dark colors here. But go ahead and tap on them and apply them. You'll see that my Quick Panel have been changed to that theme. So to create your very own, go ahead and tap on Create New. Now here you can go ahead and customize all of these colors. So let's say you wanna go ahead and customize and make it a yellow theme or an orange theme. We'll go ahead and do this. So you can go ahead and tap on any of these circles and go ahead and customize the colors of that. And now once that's done, you can go ahead and tap on this moon icon to see how it looks like in the day mode and how it looks like in the dark mode. So in the light mode, and this is the dark mode. Now, once you're happy with that, go ahead and tap on save, go ahead and give this a name. Now go ahead and tap on it and then go ahead and apply it. So now when you go ahead and look at your quick panel, this is your very own design, which you have created with your own colors. So you can customize the quick setting colors and icons. You can match the quick panel with your wallpaper, create clean, dark, or AMO LED friendly themes on your Samsung Galaxy device. And this makes your phone look unique and high end. Feature number two is where you can change your air command style. So are you bored of this air command which you use on your Samsung S25 Ultra like this? And you wanna change it to something like this, like this, or like this. Well, Pentastic allows you to customize the air command menu when using your S Pen. So you can change the design, layout, and even add fun sound effects when S Pen is detached or attached. So it turns a basic productivity feature into something stylish and enjoyable. So let me show you how you can change this air command menu to the ones that I've showed in this video. So to do this, you wanna go ahead and first open up the Good Lock app. Now in the Good Lock app, you wanna go ahead and open up the Pentastic module, which is right here, tap on this. And now as you can see, this is the air command. So this is what you have currently. So this is the default air command. If you go ahead and swipe left, you have line, you have circle, and you have retro. So you can go ahead and choose which one you like. Let's go for the circle one. Now you can go ahead and choose your brightness. So you can go ahead and control the background brightness and you can control the blur. You can go ahead and choose your own personal background on this. Tap on use. Now when you go ahead and press home, you'll see that your air command has been changed. And that's your new air command. So with the Pentastic module, you can personalize the air command appearance. You can make the S Pen more fun and interactive. It enhances both productivity and your style. Feature number three is where you can create animated lock screen effects. So if you'd like to have some cool animated lock screen effects like this, then you need to install the Wonderland module. So the Wonderland module from GoodLock app lets you add stunning motion effects to your lock screen and your home screen wallpapers. So when you go ahead and tilt, move your phone, the wallpaper reacts. However, in this, we can go ahead and add animated lock screen effects. So when you go ahead and wake up your phone, it basically animates it, giving you a effect when you go ahead and wake up your phone. So this instantly makes your phone feel more dynamic and alive. 
So let me show you how you can do this on your Samsung Galaxy device. So first you need to go ahead and open up the Good Lock app. Now in the Good Lock app, you wanna go ahead and open a Wonderland module, tap on it. Now here you wanna go ahead and tap on create your different lock screen effect. Tap on this and here we'll go ahead and create a new effect. We'll go ahead and select an image. Now here you can go ahead and choose a lock screen effect and also the AOD. For now, I'll just go ahead and choose the lock screen. I'll press close. Next, we'll go ahead and choose the effect style. So you have a CRT tube, pixelation, ripple, spear, warp, edge, blur, hexagon, you have the slice, flip, slide, and fluid. So you can go ahead and choose any effect you like. I really like the edge effect here, so I'll press close. Now here you can go ahead and tap on the effect settings and you can go ahead and choose your different effects. So I'll go ahead and customize this effect, which I have. Press close. Now let's go ahead and try it on. So this is what the screen looks like when it's off. And this is what it looks like when it's on. So if you like what you're seeing here, tap on save. Go ahead and press save. And then go ahead and set this as your wallpaper for your lock screen. Now if you press home, look at your lock screen. This is how your lock screen is going to react. As you can see, it gives in like a fade in effect when you go ahead and wake up your phone. So this adds motion and depth to your lock screen. It creates a unique animated wallpaper effect where you cannot see this in any other phones. It makes your phone feel very futuristic. You also stand out from the regular static wallpapers. Feature number four is where you can customize the keyboard swipe gesture trail. So Keys Cafe gives you a full control over how your Samsung keyboard looks and behaves. So one of the coolest features is customizing the swipe gesture trail, which looks like this. As you can see, when I go ahead and swipe my finger on the keyboard, you'll see that it leaves a trail. So for me, it leaves a heart. If I go ahead and change this to something else, as you can see, it now leaves a footprint as my trail. So one of the coolest features is customizing the swipe gesture trail, the visual effect that appears when you swipe to type. So you can change the colors, style, and animation to match your theme. So let me show you how you can create this on your Samsung Galaxy device. So for this, you need to go ahead and first open up the Good Lock app. Now in the Good Lock app, you want to go ahead and scroll down and find Keys Cafe. You need to make sure you are on the latest version of Good Lock app, as this is the new Keys Cafe update. So once you're here, tap on keyboard. Now you want to go ahead and choose from your recommended keyboard, or you can go ahead and create your very own. I'll go ahead and just choose from my recommended here. So this one, for example. Next, I'll go ahead and tap on this high icon here, top right. And this is your gesture trail. So you can go ahead and choose your icons. So let's just say, for example, I'll go ahead and choose this spider here. Next, you can go ahead and choose the colors. Let's go ahead and choose something bright. And then I can go ahead and customize this. So I can make it more thick. I can increase the speed or decrease the speed. Or I can go ahead and choose the transparency as well. So let's go ahead and choose this. Press save. Give it a name. Spider. Now, once that's done, it's been applied. I'll go ahead and open up a message. So here, I'll go ahead and swipe. And as you can see, this basically leaves a spider trail. So wherever my finger has slid, it basically leaves a trail behind. So you can customize your swipe typing trail effects. It matches the keyboard visuals with your theme and makes typing more personal and more fun. This also improves your overall typing experience. Feature number five is where you can have custom navigation bar buttons. So if you want your navigation bar to switch from this to this, this or this, then let me show you how you can do this. So Navstar allows you to completely redesign your navigation bar so you can change your button styles, layout icons, and even add extra buttons for faster access to features. So this is perfect for users who want more control and efficiency while navigating their phone. So let me show you how to do this. So before we do this, we need to go ahead and download a few icons from the internet. So you need to go ahead and download the recent button, home button and the back button. So let's say for example, I wanna go ahead and replace the home button. So I'll go ahead and choose this. Now I'll use AI select. And I'll go ahead and download this only. So download that. 
Now next I'll go and search for the back button. So I'll use this again, AI select. Download that. Now last I'll go ahead and download the recent button. So let's go ahead and download. Now I'll download that. Now here we've downloaded all these three icons here. So we'll go ahead and use this for our navigation bar. So in order to do this, we'll go ahead and first open up Good Lock. Now in the Good Lock app, you're gonna go ahead and scroll down and find Navstar. Here, you're gonna go ahead and turn this feature on, then tap on New Configuration. And here we'll go ahead and change all of these buttons. So we'll first go ahead and change the Recent button. So go ahead and choose Gallery. We'll go ahead and choose this icon. We don't wanna crop it, so no. Next, we'll go ahead and replace Home. Again, we'll get it something from our gallery. No. And then your back button, something from our gallery again. No. So now as you can see, recent, home, and back. So now once we're happy, press save. And now when you go ahead and scroll down, you'll see your new created icons. Select that and then press home. And now you've created your very own navigation custom buttons. So this basically changes your navigation button icons and layout. You can add extra buttons for quick actions. You can improve the one-handed usability and you can create a navigation style that fits your workflow. Feature number six is where you can change the task switcher style. So are you bored of this style of task switcher on your Samsung Galaxy device? And you want something new like this, like this, or like this? Then let me show you how you can do this. So Home Up lets you customize a recent app screen, also known as a task switcher. So you can change how apps are displayed from list view to grid or stacked layout, giving multitasking a fresh and a modern look. So let me show you how you can change this on your Samsung Galaxy device. So for this, you need to go ahead and first open up the Good Lock app. Now in the Good Lock app, go ahead and scroll down and find Home Up. Now next, you wanna go ahead and tap on Task Changer and switch it on. And here you can go ahead and choose all the different layout types. So your default is tilt stack, which is this. You can go ahead and choose grid, which will basically show you in a grid format. Next, you have vertical list, which will show you in a vertical list here, up and down. And lastly, you have the slim list, which will basically show you a minimalistic look. Now down below here, you have a circular list if you choose vertical list. So if you want something like a Circular list, you can go ahead and turn this feature on. If you go ahead and just choose vertical list, this will just show you up and down. However, if you turn on circular list, this will go in a semicircle. As you can see, it goes in a round format. So I really like the vertical list with a circular list. So you can customize your recent app layout. It improves your multitasking efficiency. It makes your app switching faster and more cleaner, and it gives your phone a more modern UI. And lastly, feature number seven is where you can change the opening and closing animation speed on your Samsung Galaxy device. So with Home Up, you can also adjust how fast apps open and close. So by speeding up the animation, your phone feels noticeably fast and more responsive, even without upgrading your hardware. Or if you like it really slow, you can go ahead and make this as well. So this is one of the easiest ways to make your Galaxy feel brand new. So let me show you how you can do this on your Samsung Galaxy device. So here we'll go ahead and open up the Good Lock app. Now in the Good Lock app, go ahead and scroll down, find Home Up, open that. Now here, find Gesture Settings. And here, tap on Home Gesture Animation Tuning. So here you have different options. You can go ahead and choose classic, which feels classic sensibly. And here you have sweet. So basically this is really nice and slow. So here we'll just show you, as you can see, it's really nice and slow and subtle. Let's go ahead and choose something fast, dynamic. As you can see, it's really fast. Then you have your classic. Now, if you don't like these options, which you're seeing right now, classic, elegance, dynamic, suite, you can go ahead and tune it yourself. So you can go ahead and make it your own setting. So emotionally or fast. So let's go ahead and choose emotionally. When I go ahead and open the app, you'll see that it's really slow and subtle. Now, if I go ahead and change this to fast, you'll see that it goes really fast. So this makes your phone feel faster instantly. And also it reduces slow animation delays. 
it improves your overall smoothness and enhances your daily user experience on your phone. And that's it for part two of my top Samsung good luck features. If you learned something new today, don't forget to like, share and comment. It really helps push this video to more people. Remember the goal, 300 likes. The more love this video gets, the more YouTube shares it. And if this video goes crazy, you already know part three is coming. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.